How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. I have some breaking Second Amendment news for you guys. A U.S. District Court judge has ruled New York City's Bruin response restrictions are unconstitutional. A U.S. District Court judge has ruled that New York City's gun controls enacted after the city lost in New York Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin are also unconstitutional. After the city threw a fit and deliberately ignored the Bruin ruling and enacted laws designated large swaths of the Big Apple as sensitive places and giving city officials the right to turn down a carry permit application if they deem the poor taxpaying law-abiding citizen to be not of a good moral character. That's exactly the kind of May issued discretion that was at the heart of the Bruin complaint and why the city lost at the Supreme Court level as U.S. District Judge John P. Cronin who was a Trump appointee wrote in his opinion the challenged firearms licensing provisions land very close to problematic may issue laws criticized in Bruin the challenged firearms provisions empower a city licensing official to decide not to issue a permit or license for a firearm based on that official's discretionary assessment of the applicant's good moral character and the determination of a vaguely defined presence of good cause, much like the proper cause inquiry invalidated in Bruin, permitting denial of a firearms license based on a government official's good moral character or good cause assessment has the effect of preventing law-abiding citizens with ordinary self-defense needs from exercising the right to keep and bear arms. Of course it does. That was the whole point of New York's Bruin response law. It was a thinly veiled attempt to reconstruct the same kind a bureaucratic discretion that the Bruin decision tore down. It didn't fool anyone then, and it didn't fool Judge Cronin, who rejected the city's arguments on historical grounds as well. The judge also wrote, the case is not about the ability of a state or a municipality to impose appropriate and constitutionally valid regulations governing the issuance of firearm licenses and permits. The constitutional infirmities identified herein lie, not in the city's decision to impose requirements for the possession of handguns, rifles, and shotguns. Rather, the provisions fail to pass constitutional muster because the magnitude of discretion afforded to the city officials in denying an individual their constitutional right to keep and bear firearms, and because of the defendant's failure to show that such unabridged discretion has any grounding in our nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation. The city will no doubt appeal the ruling to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. This is fantastic news for the people in New York and hopefully they will lose their appeal. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below and I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications and I invite you back to see my next video.